you see, children, your father's at that certain age. They either want to burn up the world or to find a nice, warm rock to crawl under. <laughs> it doesn't take much to push them either way. Your father is obsessed with the ridiculous idea that you're growing up too quickly. This gives him a feeling that he's growing old quickly. We've got to get him out from under that rock. <laughs> this is my plan. Where are the children? They'll be here. My. And at what mortuary are you applying today? When a man reaches my age, he can't dress like a schoolboy. I can't recall you ever dressed like a schoolboy. I did, though, when I went to school. <laughs> Those wonderful, carefree, youthful days. Oh, come on, dear. Smile. No, sir, Margaret. I've come to the realization at last. It's the kids growing up that makes you feel old. Oh, nonsense. Margaret, don't be blind to the truth. Your son shaved last night. Well, that doesn't make me Whistler's mother. And Betty went to a wedding. <laughs> soon, too soon, she'll be going to her own. Perhaps that's a wishful thought on your part, Jim. Ah, I'd want Betty with me forever. And Kathy, overnight at a friend's house, that's the first time she slept in a bed other than her own. Margaret, that's growing up. Oh, I don't know. Poor, poor innocent Margaret, my <laughs> child wife. That's all. <laughs> calling KX2J3, calling KX2J3, over. I'll lose all my oxygen pressure. Oh, Bud, what a She'll get it stuck on her big fat old I head. I will not. Don't be such a stingy face. It's my space helmet. Well, I'm going to hurt it. You will, too. Quit pulling. I'm just going to walk in. I'm not even touching him. All right, kids, break it up and come to the table. Help, help, they're after me. Oh, Cap, I get my hands on you. I'm going to break my hands. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Betty, stop it, Bud. Yes, sir? I was just telling your mother how proud I was of the way you were growing up into such well-mannered ladies and gentlemen. And now you come tearing into this room like a bunch of wild... Comanches? Comanches. <laughs> Margaret, what's got into them? They act like two-year-olds. That's children for you. They never grow up. Oh, it's probably for me, Joe. I'll get it. It's probably Ralph. I'll get it. I've got it. You... I've got Don't it. Don't be too I'm hard on them, Jim. Jim. I think you expect too much of them. After all, dear, they're only children. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, I think I'll have some lunch. Any uh, steaks in the freezer? Mm-hmm. How many do you want? Oh, two or three. Even four, if you wish. <laughs> it's for you, Father. Thank you, Princess. Oh! <laughs> How about a mess of French fries, too? Hiya, son. Nice work, kid. <laughs> Hello. Eddie, Eddie Gilbert. <laughs> sure, got your letter yesterday. How are you feeling? <laughs> good, good. Sure, we're going to be home. We'll, we'll be glad to see you. Where are you now? Well, <laughs> you're just a couple of minutes from here. I'll tell you what, I'll pick you up, old fellow. Are you sure you can make it? <laughs> Fine. We'll see you in a little while. Oh, and uh, don't rush now. <laughs> Sure. Goodbye. Uh, poor old codger. <laughs>